Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be starting formally, but Peter just, we're going to edit it. But thank you very much, Peter Frencho, the next governor of the state of Maryland, and the first lady, both of yes. you are welcome. So Peter, I mean, of course, we will be formally talking to everybody here, and you will be speaking. But uh, just for the sake of video recording, which will be edited, of course, tell us how is the campaign? Yes. Thank you very much, Hub. And the campaign's going very well. And uh, I've been the chief fiscal officer for now 15 years for the state of Maryland. Welcome. Come, everyone, sit down. And uh, the campaign's going very well because people look at me and they say, you've been a good comptroller. That means you're going to be a good uh, governor. You understand the fiscal issues facing the state. And I think people say, look, uh, we like the other people running, but they don't know anything about the budget. And you do. And people tend to be even uh, extremely progressive people. They want to have somebody in charge who is careful with their money. And that's what you're going to get with me. I think it's why I'm so popular. Uh, the uh, campaign is doing famously. We just need a few more points. We're almost where we need to be to win because there's so many other people running. And the fact that uh, we have a good audience here, uh, if you give me uh, your attention, you give me uh, maybe a place to put an eight foot by four foot sign, they're beautiful. Uh, you help me with a little bit of talking to friends and neighbors and customers, and that will be a huge help for me. I'd love to speak later, but I can tell you this is one of the most important meetings of the week for me because I brought my wife of 41 years, Ann Marr, with me. She. And so the campaign is aces up. We have an African-American woman, uh, Monique Anderson Walker, who is going to be my running mate. She's a fabulous African-American female from Prince George's County. She is the, I talk to all sorts of people to be uh, my lieutenant governor. Monique is special because I could see her when I was talking to her. I could see her if something happened to me. I could see her as governor. And we need to recognize, I know we're all men here, kind of, but women rule. <laughs> women are powerful. Women are, in America, this is the reason we have such a great economy. And by the way, the national economy is booming. Unemployment is down, and economic activity and confidence is way up. I uh, happen to think that we are going into a tremendous economic recovery. So get ready, all of you that have entrepreneurial activity. We're going to see a big upburst, resurgence. So the $2.5 billion I reported a few weeks ago, surplus, is in the bank. There's another $2.5 billion that's going to be available to the next governor. That's going to be me. I'm going to be your next governor. So number one, I'm the chief fiscal officer, and I handle the state pension fund. And I handle the Board of Public Works with the governor. I handle the, uh, all of the uh, different bureau, uh, Board of Revenue estimates, all of the fiscal issues I've looked at for the last 15 years. Day in and day out, that's all I've done. And people really sense that that is an asset that they, they want to have. Uh, secondly, I've made 10,000 visits, 10,000 visits over the last 14 years to small businesses. People know me. I was just up in Baltimore. I'm walking with Annie. She's lovely, but people come up to me because they recognize me. And... Uh, so the fact that I'm known, that I'm local, that I'm known for getting results, I'm a Democrat, but I'm not a robot. I get results, that's what I'm fixed on. 
and we're going to do transformative change in the state of Maryland. We're going to create 100,000 new jobs. We're going to attract 100,000 young adults to come to Maryland. Because if they live here and work here for five years and pay taxes, I'm promising them that we will retire, we will pay off their student loan. Why do we need young people? We're all getting old. The young people are very smart. We need their energy, we need their talent. Health care is a big problem in the state. It needs to be more accessible. We're going to have clinics. The K through 12 education is not producing the kind of workforce we need, so we're going to change it, change the curriculum. We're going to make the schools much better performing. And then finally, on home ownership, we're going to create special programs for zip codes that have low home ownership. We're going to give Maryland-backed mortgages. So a high-risk mortgage that would require normally a 20% down payment will be a low-risk mortgage at 2% down payment because the state will back it. Why are we going to do that? Because hundreds of thousands of people work day in and day out, every year after year after year. They end up with nothing. They pay rent. They don't own a home. So we're going to help them buy a home, develop some wealth. Not a lot, something they can pass on. And every one of those homes is a path to the middle class. So I'm the fiscal expert. I'm the money guy. Thank you for supporting me.